Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a special guest with us today. Do you want to introduce yourself? How's it going? I'm Brandon's boyfriend. Uh, my name is Corey. Yes. So this is Corey, my boyfriend, and he is here today because he is going to attempt, he's going to attempt <laughs> to guess the prices of all of my, well not all, but a lot of my beauty products ranging from low end to high end. So he doesn't necessarily know what is low end or high end, but he's going to try to figure it out and basically guess what it costs to put this face together. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> Well, you think, you say you think you know, you think you're going to get it because you're a finance guy. Oh, that's true. That's true, yeah. He's a finance guy and he thinks he knows the cost of everything. So, we're going to put that to the test. Basically, he has to get within a $200 margin of the total cost of all of my products. So, my nose is running. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if he is above the total by $200, he loses. If he's under the total by $200, he also loses. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start. This is my first time doing a tag video. So, you know, this is kind of fun because I get to do it with someone else, not just by myself. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. I have my flashcards here and all the prices. So let's go game show style. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. And we're Confident. gonna get the uh, the calculator out so that we can add his total up and then match it to my total in the end. All right. So the first product is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops, which is this product here. You guys wanna see? I'll let you hold it so you know it. You can can figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what smelling it is gonna do. <laughs> so I can just say the price. Just the, yeah, whatever price you think it is. Luminizing, luminizing drops. Uh, foundation, moisturizer, eye cream. I'm gonna say this is. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? Final, final answer. Final answer. I actually forgot what the price of this was. All right, let's see. Fourteen dollars. One for the guys. That's that's not bad though. Not a bad start. All right, let's put that in the calculator. The next one is YSL lipstick, Rogue Pure Couture. That's the full name of it. Okay, so a little fancy. <laughs> What, what, what was it called? YSL? There's a proper name, I just don't know how to say it because it might be French or it's like Saint Laurent or something like that. That's French. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> lipstick, right? Yep. Um, I'm going to say um, $35. Final answer. All right. 31 <laughs> Not bad. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. That's something else. Wait, crap. Wait, let's see. Oh, crap. Sorry. 37? Okay. All right. All right. You said 35? I said 35. Let me mix it up now because I just jacked myself up. <laughs> the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Genius, Hydra Genius <laughs> Daily Liquid. This is actually a new product. It just came out, but it's a face moisturizer. Every morning and night after cleansing, gently smoothing over face. Huh. Let's see. It's a glass bottle, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this is $25. This product is $17.99. Mm. It's a drugstore product, so it's a little bit on the lower end. Even though drugstore pro products are trying to come up, they're, you know, increasing their prices. Yeah, so, but it's a, it's a fairly priced product for the amount of product you get with, in the bottle, so. NYX Matte Bronzer. This is one of my faves. This is like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, bronzer. Bronzer sort of like tans your face a okay. little bit. Okay, $19. $19? Fine. All right, let's see. The NYX Matte Bronzer is only $8.99. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because NYX is not necessarily yeah it's not a high-end brand 
but they have good quality low end products. See, I'm a little biased because I assume that everything you have is high end. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just throwing out numbers based on that that bias. So <laughs> kind of gave away the, you know, what NYX is, but it's another NYX product, and it's their eyebrow gel. This is another one of my favorites. Eyebrow gel. As you can see, the tube is almost done. I don't think you're far off. Yep, $6.99. Nice. The next one is the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. Guys, don't make fun of me. This thing is like busted. I busted the top off, so don't be careful. Don't squeeze it. <laughs> Works like a paint primer, right? Yes, it's what you put on your face before foundation so that it, you know, sticks to your face and it acts as a barrier so that okay. you're not putting foundation directly on your skin. Okay. $17. 17 the final answer? Final answer. This product retails at $31. What? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Urban Decay, like that, that, that stuck out of my head. And I was like, it, it, it could be, I don't know. Next product is called the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Everybody knows about this. Everybody. Not me. <laughs> Pretty nice. The branding is nice. It is 23. But, you know, still high end, but you went over a little bit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It's a really long name, but here it goes right here. Mm. Pretty oh, hefty. Show the people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty hefty. Has a lot of weight to it. Can I open it or not? Yeah, you can open it. Ah. Uh, Just drop it. A lot of different. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say this is $47. 47 All right. Let's see. It costs 46 No, no. <laughs> All right. I'm getting worried because he's actually doing pretty well. It's a Morphe 35F palette. I use this quite often. A lot of colors. You know? It's huge. <laughs> um, it's bigger than that one and it kind of looks, you know, similar. I'm going to say this is $61. This product is actually a more affordable affordable brand and it only costs twenty two ninety nine. <laughs> Getting hit right now. Hit. The Milani blush in Romantic Rose. One of my favorite blushes. No, that the other side. This side. Uh, yeah. Just wanna smell it. Kinda of smell like makeup just smells like makeup pretty yeah. much. <laughs> Sixteen dollars. Sixteen. Sixteen dollars. This product is also a drugstore product and it's only seven ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I just have a few, you know, like really good good expensive things. products. And then, things. you know, you can't just buy everything expensive. It's a waste of money. The next one is the Col Color Pop Satin Lipstick. It's the one I'm wearing today. Dopey is the color. Dopey? That's the name of the color. Why, why, why they pick Dopey? They have like funky names for all of their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is lip gloss or, or, or? It's like a lipstick. Okay. Yeah. Liquid okay. lipstick. Liquid lipstick, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say this is $32. So final answer. Final answer. Ugh, final answer. 32 this is also an affordable brand and it's only six dollars. That, that killed me. <laughs> that killed me. The Tardis Clay Paint. Clay Paint Liner. It's this tube of black liquid liner. Looks like some French on there. <laughs> black, gold, okay. This was ten dollars. Ten dollars? And this product is actually $24. What's <laughs> Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup, which is foundation. Plastic, no. <laughs> the plastic. Plastic. 
a little French in the back, a little Spanish. I mean, don't most products have different languages? Absolutely true. <laughs> Absolutely true. Eight dollars. Oh, he's nervous. He doesn't want to guess anymore. Eight dollars. <laughs> this is eight dollars. Eight, this is eight dollars. I promise you, it's eight dollars. <laughs> Turn that card on. This brand is higher end and it retails for twenty four dollars. <laughs> I can't win. I can't win. It's a NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Concealer, I think you know what concealer does, right? Hides dark spots, you know. Hide. Most people put it under their eyes because they have dark circles. Oh, uh, no, I know. Oh, okay. Uh, NARS, like like NARS. Seventeen dollars. Yeah, this is a higher end brand, but it is thirty. Thirty dollars. Dollars. Okay. <laughs> The Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. This was actually the first highlighter I ever bought, and I still use it because it's the bomb. It's a highlighter. So you see these, like, you always talk about the shininess on my cheeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, highlighter. <laughs> first highlighter. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think if there's a correlation between, like, longer names and, like, higher prices. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But, uh, Laura Geller Highlighter. Um, I'm gonna say this is thirteen dollars. Thirteen final answer. Final answer. This is a higher end brand, and this highlighter is twenty six dollars. Wow. <laughs> Are you getting mad at me yet? <laughs> <sighs> For all these things I spend my money on. A beauty blender, Blotterazzi, and this baby is like for blotting your face when it gets oily um there's like two thin sponges it's like thin slices of the regular beauty blender basically your sponges why are you smelling it it's a sponge this is what the sponge looks like by the way it's not the most popular product ever but i bought it because i thought it was a cool idea it actually look good um okay this Beauty Blender Sponge. This is twenty dollars. Final answer. Did you know that already? No, I I I think I. Oh, That's here we go. $20. See, I'm back. I'm back. All right, all right. <laughs> the next, the next ones are gonna be gold. Let's go. We'll see. Bring it on. We'll see. The Tart Tartus Contour Palette, which looks like this. My last video, I did a review on this. Bleh, bleh. I did a review on this palette, so go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But here you go. Tart, Tardis, 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 Tardis. I mean, it's Tart is the brand though. How, how many, how many Tart things do you have? I love Tart. <laughs> you love Tart. Yes, it's one of my favorite brands. Tart, right? It's a little messy in here though. This. Forty dollars. Final answer. Final answer. Okay. This product is forty-five. There we go. The Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is what you do. You use to prime your eyelids for eyeshadow. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this is nine dollars. Nine dollars. By the way, this is the travel size version, I believe. Yeah, I meant to buy the bigger one, but ended up with travel size. But anyways, you said nine dollars. Nine dollars, fine. Not bad. It's actually twelve. Okay. I believe the full size is twenty. I think. Okay. But yeah. That's within thirty-three percent. Okay. <laughs> See what I'm saying, I'll guys? That. I'll take that. <laughs> The actual regular beauty blender that everyone and their mama uses. It's dirty. Sorry guys, I just used it, but I don't know if you want to touch it. He knows he doesn't want to touch it. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. Six dollars. Six dollars. Six dollars. Six See, I thought you would have got this right because you got the Blotterazzi product right, but this one is also $20. How is this $20? <laughs> Do you see this? 
This it is, does this every is it does everything though. Like I can't even live my life without this product. This is like if I was trapped on a desert island and for whatever reason I actually wore makeup on that desert island. <laughs> That's the product I would need more than almost anything else. Besides like eyebrow stuff. It's, it's, like, it's, yeah. a, it's a sponge. That's what it is. It does everything though. It's the best sponge on the market. Alright, next product I actually just bought recently. It's the Sunday Riley Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. Bought it at Sephora. I can smell it from outside the bottles, kind of strong. But yeah. It's for like acne prone skin, clearing breakouts, preventing breakouts, things like that. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars five ounces? Five ounces. You're probably gonna like flip out this product is very high end 60 no not that bad it is 40 what <laughs> i don't even know if you guys can see my prices i'm holding them up like you can see them but yeah it's 40 dollars oh my god we have the laura mercier translucent setting powder big youtube favorite don't don't open it you know well i mean you can open it but be very careful this is a powder you want right it's a loose powder loose setting uh, powder gotcha. and it's for setting your liquid makeup so that you know it doesn't get everywhere and it stays in place okay uh i want to say this is 37.99 he's <laughs> trying to break his margin you know get it you know anyway 37.99 <laughs> $37.99. All right. This product, I forgot how much it costs, but it is $38. What am I? Look at that. Look at that. It is right there, right? Look at that. A penny away. It brought me back. It brought you back, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the last product. It is the Bosha Purifying Cleansing Oil. And this is what it looks like. I just bought this too. Just a face wash for you. Your face, removing makeup, things like that. This is gonna be twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. Twenty six finance. Finance. I forgot how much this cost too. This is twenty eight. Nice. <laughs> so guys, his final total is. Can't really see that. Four fifty two ninety seven. I think you can see a little bit. Yep. Four fifty two ninety seven. And. The actual total, I think you won. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just realized that. I think you won. All right. The actual total is $528 and what is it? 95 cents. Wow. So. One for the guys. So. Minus $528.95. Only a $75 margin. I think you have outdone some of the YouTubers I've watched because I think most of the guys have lost. Yeah. Nice. One for the guys. So, Corey is the winner. <laughs> All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And. What else? Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below your thoughts. If you enjoyed this tag, if you liked being able to finally meet this guy. Not that I really talked about him anyway, so um, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I swear, sometimes I'm still used to my Samsung. I do stuff. Stop doing it. 25, right? It's a 35. Or 35. 64 plus 17 is 81. It wasn't 64, it was 81. Yeah, plus 35. Goodness gracious, okay. It's 197 right now. Yeah. 84 plus 35 is 197. Oh, something happened.
No, not 84, 81. 116. 